What's up, beautiful babies? Welcome to another episode of Bailcast. I am Gio. And I'm Bart. And uh, sadly, you guys have to stare at these plain ass walls. We're still in the process of wrapping up our moving and getting this space designed because our podcast room is now in our home and it's going to be here. It's a permanent fixture, so we want it to look boss as fuck. Yeah, so if you missed our last podcast and you're like, where the hell are you? We explained in the last podcast that this is our new home. We're, we're recording live out of Vegas now, so you go check that out and we explain. Recording live. Uh, yeah, what we love about Vegas, what we don't love about Vegas. Actually, everything that we love about Vegas, but like a couple of do's and don'ts of uh, moving. If you were to move out of state or just anywhere in general about like these big moves where it's not like I'm temporarily going off to college and coming back, but like really uprooting your life and bringing your life somewhere else. Or like, you know, you dig around and then you... Oh, you have to water it first to get the soil soft. Yeah, do you? Have you ever tried digging when the, you haven't wet it? When the dirt or the soil is just rock? Rock hard, yeah. Ooh, can you say that again? Rock hard. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know what hasn't been <laughs> rock hard these days? Yeah, I know. What? My muscles. Oh, I was going to say our, uh, our nutrition. It hasn't been rock hard at all. Our nutrition? What do you mean? We've just been eating like shit. I know. We, we first got here. So like, I love that we have so many food options. There's, and so we've just been trying all kinds of different things. And I hate it at the fucking same time. Like one of our buddies put us on this place called Osteria Fiorella. And it's a it's really- It's at Red Rock. Yeah, it's at Red Rock. It's a bomb ass Italian restaurant brought to you by world renowned chef, Mark Vetri. And- What's well, a restaurant that was out in Philly? And this is the second one that came. Oh, it's or I don't know if it's so the second, but good. it's another one. So yeah, we went ham for a few meals. Oh, God, it was so good. And the pizza, I love thin crust pizza. This was the thinnest pizza I've ever had. It was so good. And uh, we I just- I like me a fat pizza. You do? You like it? Just like mm. deep to Chicago? I love like fucking dough. I love really? carbs. Like if you I like had to place, choose- You um, what's it called? Masa or Meza? The one in uh, Silver never, Lake? We never went there. We no, did. no, no. The, You're thinking- you think thinking the one Mesa or Masa yeah. or whatever? Yeah. There's one on the corner called that, and that's all Melrose. And that's a pasta place. No, like, the other place we there. went, the one we went to, yes. the one we did go to, I think it, it is starts Masa. with the M, and it's thick as fuck. You literally eat like that one slice, and you're like, oh shit, I think I'm mm. done. You like okay, that? Okay, if you had to choose. Wait, wait, you like that? Yes. You like thick, What the doughy fuck pizza? other than, okay, so I don't know what else to say what? other than yes. Because I could have sworn you were on my team this whole time. I didn't know I you were playing for the other players. I love thin too. I love, I love, honestly, so I used to. You can't to, like thick and thin pizza. I can like That's whatever the fuck I want to like. It is not legal at all. Um, Sir, you don't like just one cheeseburger, do you? You like them from different you don't places. You like cheeseburger, do you? <laughs> <laughs> you like them from different places. <laughs> Same yeah, fucking but they're all the shit, same. cowboy. They're all the same, you they're dumb. Not, they're, <laughs> <laughs> they're all, you're telling me. If I like a style of cheeseburger. A Mac, like, for example. Like, and a four by four okay. is the same motherfucker. So you tell me Shake Shack. Back when we lived in McDonald's Alhambra and you guys watch our vlogs. Shit. And there's only two burgers. There's two burgers that I bounce around from. Grill them all and 38 degrees. And guess what? They're both very similar. Thick, juicy patty with the brioche bun. Okay. And it's the okay. same. And that's the same thing. You like it? That's your favorite? So like I like that style. I don't go from I like a thick juicy burger to some dried out weird one. <laughs> I like them both. What the fuck? Okay, you so I used you're to, not allowed to like that. Don't tell me what to do. Do you like thin noodles or do you like thick noodles? Both. You can't it depends. do that. No, no, You'll no. Fuck off. You, I am not gonna eat spaghetti with some thick ass motherfucking noodles. That doesn't make any fucking sense. Have you sense. ever had spaghetti with fettuccine? It's even better when it's thinner. Wait, when, what's fettuccine? The thicker one. Are you even educated? <laughs> not on food. No. Fettuccine is the flat <laughs> one. But it's thick. That's like the start of Ew. wide noodles. I don't want that in oh, my spaghetti. So good. So good. The same way I don't want angel hair pasta in my spaghetti because it's not enough pasta. You know what I'm saying? You could only like one thing. You can't you can't have more than one thing. No. That's really weird. That's not weird. That's very normal. You can't like diet Coke and like Coke. So you only like Coke? Coke, yes. Well, no one likes diet Coke. They There's drink a lot of people that's that That's not love. what they prefer. They're probably trying to watch nah. some shit. No all one's the, like All the Caucasian homies no one love is like, diet Coke. No one is like, "Yo, you know what?" 
fuck my health, but I just nah, like the way all the Caucasian tastes. homies they only go a diet coke. I don't know why. Okay, well, hey, you know what? I'm a fucking one soldier here. Okay, I'm one of one. You can't like that. That's weird. Okay, cool. That's weird in your book. In my world, it makes sense. Let me let me get this straight. Do you get like ice cream and sorbet? Yes, depends oh, on the you flavors. Are unacceptable. I really don't even like sorbet that much. Okay, Can we go with exactly. yogurt? Can I knew we go it. with yogurt? I knew that. Can we do yogurt and ice cream? Because I no, like both. No, because they're freaking, they're like second cousins. Oh, are they? Yeah, you can have sex with second okay, cousins. Okay, then I like sorbet then. I like the... <laughs> <laughs> yes, it depends on the ice cream flavor and the sorbet. I don't, know who, sorbet. I don't <laughs> know who you are. I don't know who you the are. The sherbet. You're weird. No, you're weird. Do you like small dogs and big dogs? Fuck yeah, I do. You know and I that's do. That's okay. <laughs> All right, that's okay. <laughs> anyway, but you I, don't like dogs and cats, do you? I had a cat and a but dog. But you kind of hated have them. Have you ever? No. Have you ever seen them grow up together? It's the fucking cutest. You like when animals are different that's too. That's true. I do. It's fucking cute. So fuck off. Damn. Uh, I used to actually really love pizza. Like I could eat pizza every day up until I got <sighs> pregnant and Tyco ruined it for me. Because How did you ruin it? I used to, when you're pregnant, I just, your whole body's all fucked up. I would get heartburn. I've never had it before Tyco and I don't have it at all now, but I would get heartburn and like acid reflux. And every time I ate pizza, specifically with pepperoni, it would, um, it would not engage it, but it would. Um, Trigger it? Yes. Wow. Yeah. And what does heartburn feel like? I've never even had it in my life. Um, I see that your brother gets it too. You know when you when you uh, when you burp and you think you're gonna throw up and that acidity that comes up and it yeah. kind of burns your throat. It's like that. It's like that, but what? But it's the whole way through. Yeah, like or? it's here. Like it's like your I've gotten, esophagus. I've gotten it's, like little throw up before. It's like esophagus. It's all of it, and it just doesn't go away. Oh, it doesn't go away. Because mm -mm. I've had that before. Where like I'm and it like burns super stuffed on the inside. Like I'm super stuffed, and I, maybe I like did too much physical activity or something. So like. And I burp, and then it does burn. That is it. You've had it. But then it goes away like at a second. Oh, like the minute no, I swallow it, it's away. gone. No, it's there. Oh, it's, it's there. It, I don't ever feel like I need medicine, or I don't like you know in the commercials they're always like. No, it hurts. Like clutching their chest. I never yeah. got that. No, no, it hurts. It's like that. Damn. That yeah. Sucks. So because of that, I think I've just associate. Like I just pizza have a bad that. association with it. Yeah. So whenever I see pepperoni pizza, I'm like, can I just get cheese, or can I just get fucking Hawaiian, please? Do you like margarita? One of the original yeah. pizzas? Yeah, not as much as you, but I do like it. Fuck, man. What, what did I would you marry, do right? A, what do I would do to a margarita? Ooh, what would you do, baby? Fucking eat it. Ooh, how? What part? The pointy parts. Mm. What's your tongue doing? Just going away. You see? And that's our fucking sex life. You see that <laughs> shit? You see why I only have one kid going away? What the fuck does that mean? Going exactly, away. Exactly. I'm mysterious. No, you just don't know what you're doing. I'm eating pizza? Fuck yeah. You ever seen me eat pizza? I have. I fucking crush pizza. Do that again. You have like horse. What the fuck? I can see your teeth through your gums. How the fuck? What are you talking about? Wow. You know what's trippy? Eyes up here, all right? Okay, my bad. You know what's trippy? Every what? time I brush my teeth, because I've been hearing about <sighs> like all my friends getting receding gum lines. All your friends? Yeah. Like who? <laughs> Do you not think I have friends? The no, fuck? no, but who? But I don't know anyone that's like, none I'm of not your friends are eighty all. years old. No, you're not supposed to brush them really hard, yeah. or else your gums start your lines. Well, starts if you receding. grew up Asian, you're supposed to keep brushing until they bleed. No, that's not Asian. That's just your family, your fucking crazy family. Oh, I don't ever see anyone else's toothbrush with the bristles all spread out. That's fucking weird. Well, if you go to my the my family, literally that's what I said. Like that. Literally that's all I said. I said your family, other than your family, I don't think it's an Asian thing. I think it's a fucking. My grandma used to use you know the stick of the glue gun. Okay. You know that stick of the glue yeah, gun? Yeah, yeah, the glue. The glue part, right, where you melt it. Literally the glue. But then without the glue, so the glue gun, it melts it, so it comes out a nice stream and you can control it. The OG way you would use a lighter yeah. and you light it until it melts. And then yeah. you can, once it melts, you can use it yeah. and like squish it and make things stick. My grandma used to fix her pantyhose with the glue yeah. while her legs and the hose. 
<laughs> what a thug. So she's fucking Yo, she's going, into some oh, BDSM oh, shit. So it's fucking hurting. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah. Harder. She's hurting. It's hurting while she's fucking melting that <laughs> she's shit. She's all ripping it more so she could feel more pain. Your mom's a, I mean, your grandma was a freak. Yeah. That's some freak shit. And I, t- I always learned like uh, all the stuff that David makes fun of me of like credit carding my ass and how I wash my face violently. It's because that's how I learned it from my grandma. Yo. She used to put like soap on. Goes fucking she slaps harder. it like that? Yeah, as hard as she can. Why? Boom, puts it on her face and fucking goes <laughs> as hard as she can. Like where the fucking soap is like splattering off Whoa. everywhere. And then like, like she's trying to like, I don't know, like scrub off the second layer and then she rinses it off. And yeah. that's how I learned how to do it. You know what's funny? What? Um, So I do, I do a lot of stories. If you don't follow me on Instagram, what the fuck? Follow me on Instagram. I'm like literally putting up a story every fucking day. So... I, the people will ask me what my skincare routine is, right? And I don't really have much of a routine. It's just, or I don't have a fancy routine. Like I, I do have a consistent routine that I do, but it's you nothing You do take crazy. a shower like once a week. Yeah, I do. That's the routine. Yeah. Um. So I was like, okay, fine. Let me give the people what they want. So then I go and I'm showing the products off that I want. So now it's time for me to use the face wash that I use. And I put it on. And in my head, this is what I see, right? So this is the Instagram version of myself. This is what I see right here when I get my nose and I'm just doing this. Like a beauty channel. Yes. The reality was this. And then I looked at it and I was like, oh my God, I can never talk shit to Bart again. It looks so violent. I mean, I still posted it because I just, I'm fucking trash like that but it looked like you're doing it intentionally it it didn't look like you're trying to be cute about it but you're supposed to be cute that's just the Um, norm well how the fuck are you supposed to clean shit well i mean but you want to not sell the product but you want to make it look not violent not painful yeah yeah, you know what i mean like it's supposed to look soft yeah and feminine i get you it's like fitness photos right like if you only have like let's say a plate on the bar but that's what the picture requires you can't do it like so light yeah, yeah, you're not it, selling it, shit. It needs to be. Ah, it needs to be intense. Ah, you need to help. Yeah, that even, you're so trying yeah, to motivate I get it. I get, and inspire. I get what you're yeah, yeah. So I was like, "Holy fuck!" I don't know if it's because I have big ass hands. You do. or what? I really do have big hands. No, they, your hands are small. What are you talking about? They're fucking big. They're not big. These are big fucking hands. These are big hands, and I think they look even for bigger what? for a human being. For a woman. For a human being, yes, they're huge. <laughs> Oh, fuck you. <laughs> For a woman, they're big ass hands. And I think because I have smaller wrists. Ah, look at, look at, do that again. Ah! Okay, this is my fucked up wrist. And you know it's my fucked up wrist. Oh, is wrist. it? I love yeah, being able to just go. grab your ass like this. I can't I wait. I can't wait till we start fucking doing jujitsu. I just fucking grab your ass. You're so fucking dumb. Why? <laughs> Because this should be some sex shit. Like, you well, I do, flirt- grab, I do grab this that is shit. How, this is well, how you... Sex, just, I do fucking grab No, you that. don't. Yeah, you, do. don't flirt, you need to flirt more. You know that? Men, you guys need to flirt more with women. No, once you once you get the girl, you're done. Oh, and that's why we're having as much sex as we're having. Yes. <laughs> how much sex Damn, are we having? You guys, all right. This is... this is the, when, you're, when you get the girl, this is... This is coming from an expert, all right? Okay, don't men don't this listen coming, to anything this, this is guy's coming talking from a about. Fucking play of a life expert. The guy that still has what dreams? That once, guy? Yes. <laughs> once that's how much of a player I am. It just the, the wants guy, to come out. Wait, the guy that fucking got invited to a pool party by the chick he was totally digging. Nobody showed up to the party and he's like, Man, that's a bummer. Didn't put the moves on her at all. That, that was guy was in college. That's the player? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the most player you should have been, boy. Did you see Mike Lowry in college? He was a geek too, okay? Who is that? You don't know who Mike Lowry is? Who is that? Are you kidding me? Who this is that? doesn't even ring a bell. No, who is that? Not even a ding, ding. Who is that? God damn. You don't know Mike Lowry. I'm going to fucking punch you in the dick. I'm even saying his name the only way you would know. Mike <laughs> Lowry. Who is that? <laughs> who is that? Who is that? <laughs> fucking Taika. Who is that? Bad Boys. Will Smith's character. I don't give a fuck. Oh, my God. Mike Lowry. Why do you fucking anyway and... And he became a play a play just like me. Yeah, you know he's not real, right? Yeah, he is. Mike Lowry? Yep. He's Two movies says he is. But that's not that's a character, baby. That's what I believe. What I'm saying when is when people walk away ex- from a fucking exploding building and don't get fucking wrecked, that's fake. Depends on how far away you are. 
He was close. Then he should have got wrecked, but I don't think so. Not if you're a player player for life. Anyway, what's your point? So my point is, once you get the girl, you don't flirt no Merle. You never floated Mer. You never floated with me. I always flirt. How did we get together? I always, there's, we had I made to all the moves. Impossible. I did something. Yeah, you did nothing. No, nah, like, it wasn't one sided. It. it wasn't like you were chasing me and courting me. Yeah, I don't chase nobody. Thank then you how for the pointing fuck did we get out. together? Because we flirted. You big dumbzo. Yeah, because I started you, big dumbzy. You know what? No. You know what? <laughs> we need to stop this shit right now because I need to introduce our sponsor. Right, this sorry. is a boat shit. You're a buffoon. <laughs> This podcast is brought to you by NoteCube, and I freaking love NoteCube because when you love someone, sometimes it's really difficult to find the appropriate gift for them. Either you already got them everything, like me and my wife, we've been together for 12 years. She literally has everything. If she didn't buy it already, then I bought it for her. And how many other ways can I tell her how much I love her, how much she means to me? And that's why something like NoteCube is so freaking awesome because you go on the website and you can select 10 to 20 of their best qualities that you love. So for example, for She's beautiful, she's smart, she's intelligent. And then you can have 60 personalized notes with all the reasons why you love them and appreciate them. And you even have the option to edit and add photos to the notes. Then you receive all of these beautifully printed notes in a keepsake box. And this box is this beautiful engraved wood. And it's super thoughtful, super unexpected. It's not something that you go to the mall and everyone's trying to push, oh, buy your mom flowers for Mother's Day. It's going to be super unique and it's great for all occasions. Mother's Day, Father's Day, anniversaries, birthdays, Valentine's, Christmas, all of that. And right now, all of our listeners have a special offer. You get 20% off when you use the code BAIL. B-E-A-W. And you know what the best part is? It's free delivery worldwide. Shop online at thenocube.com. It's easy to create and lasts a lifetime. And once again, for 20% off, use the code BAIL. B-E-A-W at thenocube.com. And we're back. So go ahead. <laughs> what? So yeah, I, once you get I the girl. Okay, moves. fine. You tell me. How how would you like me to flirt? What what's what's flirting from a middle aged woman? <laughs> 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 Fuck you. <laughs> middle aged woman. Honestly. Flirt. What do you want? So when you were like holding my holding my wrist, you want me to like, fucking take it to the fucking spa at fucking Bellagio or what? That's all. So for you, it's either zero to a hundred. That's it. No, no, no. I just There's want to no... know from a middle-aged woman. Can I talk? Because you keep interrupting me. Okay. Okay. Ready? Buy some Vaseline for your cracked elbows. I don't have cracked elbows. <laughs> no, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. Ready? Yeah. Like you could just be like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> I do that every day. <laughs> every fucking day, I grab your face and go, "Babe, you're beautiful." Every day, because every time I see you, I go, "Wow, she's so beautiful." I always. To let you know every single day. Are you kidding That's me? That's cutie. What you just did. That's cutie. Yeah. Yeah. Like I'm trying to make you shut up. <laughs> like, don't you, you fucking see? go anywhere. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> not every day. I tell you you're beautiful. That's that's not flirty. I know. I'm fucking with you. Not not really flirty. Um. It's, so what it's is been it? Tell cute. me. It's been cute. It's been cute. Okay. But if you want to be like more lusty, lusty. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's that? What's that? Then yeah. Then you want to get a little bit more sexual, like right? What? Like flick the clit a little bit. No. Like pop, 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 pop. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's not. Then what do you want me to do? Just like even the rubbing could be slower, right? Yeah. So if you go, you notice how you grab my wrist, you were like this. I tell you that all the time. Yeah. More lustful would be like. Oh, just <laughs> jack it off. <laughs> sure. I've seen you jack off. Yeah. <laughs> no, nothing uh, like that. Your jack off is way too uh, aggressive for is me. It? Yeah. Uh, you go fast. Fuck yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's good or bad. What do you mean? Because because I'll go like this. Like, oh yeah, yeah, that, that's where it is. No, oh, oh my fucking back. Oh my back hurts. Can you fix it for me? So even if I try to do it, sexual, you don't even know. No, you don't I'll do like, it. I'm like, hey babe, and I go and I try to touch his slow. Oh, that's like, oh, hot. oh yeah, my scapula. Oh fuck. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, because before that, you probably were like, can I flick the fucking clit? Can I flick it? Okay, what up? What up? Give me some tips. So, so that's me good. and sensual. the other dudes out there. Okay. Sensual touching is always nice. Okay. That feels like, nice. That's really okay. nice. Yeah. I do that all the time. Okay. Keep going. What else? And the, and that works. Okay. But you stop too soon. Like for a girl. How long do you, you need? Have to rev Jesus. Her up. Okay. How many reps and sets? Let me know. <laughs> okay. Uh, it needs to be. It Damn. needs to be a five by eight. God, Jesus. Yeah. Damn. It needs to be a five by eight. You need that much revving? Yep. Because you have to keep in mind, we're taking care of a lot of things. 
Wow. We're very much aware of the whole everything. We're taking care of the kids. We're taking care of like, did I turn that off? Oh, what am I going to make if for this? If you caress me with a five by eight, I'm busting already. I'm I know. Done. I know. But that's just how long we take. Damn. You probably need a one by three. You probably need yeah. a, that's it. One by one, one by two. No, not by one. Oh. No, no, no. You need a little bit more. One by three then. If you're really tired, maybe a Damn. one by five. But we need a five by eight. All right, I'm going to start counting. I can't fucking I'm gonna fuck, believe I'm gonna count it. that it's no, no. making sense I'm gonna to you. I'm going to count to you. you we're going fucking... to be, gonna be in bed and I'm going to be. I'm like. One. And I'm like. Two. And now that was three cents. Hey, and like, whatever it no, takes. This is already way more than what. And, and I'm like. That's five, baby. <laughs> this works. Yeah. I can't believe I actually I go, got to you. I'm like. Two more bitch <laughs> <laughs> at that point if yeah. you if you've already at rep if you're at a uh, set number three still, and you call me a bitch i'm like yeah i am your bitch still your motherfucking set yeah fuck yeah <laughs> fuck yeah if you're like it, if it's the fifth set on the fourth fucking even the seventh rep and you call me fucking stupid dirty cunt ho i'm like oh yeah fuck yeah i am let's go all right, so five by more eight. sensual touches, but lots of it to rev you up. What other things? Five by eight. What other things can we do to get flirty for all of those dudes out there who have lost a spark? I think we've recently, I, so our lifestyle has gotten pretty intense because yeah. obviously this whole move, selling the old house, getting all the companies set up so that we can have the privilege of being out here and still having that not burn down. To the yeah, it's the employee's fault. We ain't fucking. That's not what I never, that's not, I never said that. Oh, so our life's been pretty nuts. Someone. Sure, fine. Blame yourself. So our life's been pretty nuts. So I do find us both escaping to our phone. Because it's mm. like, we don't have to think about anything. It's like, we both know we're tired. So we kind of look at each other like, yep, yep. We don't engage. We don't communicate that much. Yeah, that's not good. Because we're just exhausted, right? Yeah. And then we have Taika who's like 100 miles an hour from like 6.30 a.m. till 9 even 10 p.m. and he's just non-stop we need to sign him up for a crossfit gym i mean he's gonna start going to school soon he he needs to fucking triathlon for real yeah um definitely needs to do things where like the workout is minimal six hours <laughs> you know <what laughs> for I mean? sure dude side note we just we just got a tour of a potential school that i'm pretty sure we're gonna sign him up for and he's gonna have recess four times a day and i'm like yes please yeah the minute they said that i'm like this school's for you. <laughs> this is 100% your this school. This guy bro. needs to play hardcore. <laughs> yes. Okay. So because of that and our life's been crazy, I'm not blaming anybody. We're both at fault, but we're also both not at fault. Um, we escape and we need our me time. So we both get buried into our phone. And I think just yesterday, we've been telling each other this shit for maybe like a year now where we're like, yo, we got to put our phones away. But it's just been so intense that it's like, we'll, we'll probably do that next month. But now I see it more and more where we're getting disconnected because it's like we just want to feel a sense of self again, you know, and just kind of like gather whatever little energy we have left and preserve that so that we can just kind of like live a little bit longer before we go to sleep, you know, because our whole day is gone. Yeah. So we do just kind of like retreat into like the fucking social media realm and we don't really talk anymore. Yeah. Um, and I can see that, like, if it continues this way, I can see us just having a huge gap in our relationship. Yeah, then it just be, be, ends up being, We're like, homies. a lot of, uh, like, old Asian couples. Yeah. Like, they're just, like, roommates rather than, like, roommates and mom and dad, but not really, like, wife and husband. I don't know if this is, like, an evolutionary trait, but after I had Taika, I felt a lot of my sex drive just kind of, like, die. And I don't know if it's because that's it. Like, I'm not supposed to procreate anymore. Like, Mother Nature's like, that's it, bitch. Your body's too old. Like, maybe if I would have had my first kid in my early 20s or mid-20s, like, I still would have, I, I might feel, like, still fucking all the time. But, like, after him, and it could be because of his personality and our lifestyle, I, I just don't have that fucking animalistic, I want to rip your shit off anymore. Maybe you need to practice finger banging some more. I don't finger bang. I don't like sticking shit in my pussy. I'm just calling it that. Uh, you can call it a fucking, what is that? DJ? A fiddle? Is that what you used to call it? <laughs> a fiddle. What's I don't a know. fiddle? <laughs> oh, no, a fiddle a banjo? like this. A fiddle's a violin. Yeah. Why, why, don't you, why don't you practice a little bit more of the art of uh, DJ disc jockeying? 
Remember my fucking vibrator broke? Yeah. I, I, I can't get stimulated with fingers, like at least my own. Yeah. Um, And I just haven't had the urge to get a new one. And I've just been so busy that now that like when I have my me time, even away from you, no offense, when I have my me time, it's like, I just want to breathe and not hear anybody call my name, not hear any fucking questions. I just want this silence. And I don't ever think about sex. I never think about sex. Damn, that's crazy. Maybe your sex drive did change. Isn't that nuts? Yeah. Because you think about sex a lot, huh? No, I think I'm with you. It, it's, <gasps> really? it's, it's for sure way lower. Because you used to be nuts too. Yeah, yeah, it's for sure way lower. Um, I don't know if it has to do with Taika or if it just has to do with being busier or like, um, yeah, like even my own urge to jack off is very, very low. Yeah, because before it was like fucking rabbit nonstop. Yeah, yeah, but I just think like, I don't know, maybe there's just so much on my mind or just so many things to tackle that like, I think like when you're so slammed, you're just like, okay, I have a little bit of time. Let's go to sleep, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, that's when like your, your, that's when your real priorities kind of like, like float to the top. You know, like when you're, when you're that starving guy, like trekking across the Sahara desert, like you're like, and, you're, and your lips are chapped, you don't go, oh yeah, I'm a jack off. <laughs> you know, you're like, give me some goddamn water. I mean, if you were a teenager, that's the only thing that like you could probably be starving of food. And now you're still going to want water. Pass and then, out. And then jack off. Because in John Wick, it wasn't like John Wick collapsed in Egypt and then his hand starts going down his pants and starts <laughs> touching his nuts. He was looking for water, you know? You almost made me spit out the fucking <laughs> That drink. would be funny, though. Like some sort of desert teenager. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> that would be pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> that is fucking funny um but that's i'm glad you dude we haven't even talked i think we used to say this or i used to say this all the time i'm like i love podcasting with you because we get to finally talk um but no it does take pressure off of me because in a relationship i'm not the only one right so i can't be selfish and just be like i don't want i'm not I don't the want mood. It. yeah i don't want to move yeah it, i feel fucked up yeah for you yeah, right yeah, like yeah. i still want you i still want to like uh, please you and like take your needs into consideration. I feel fucked up too because I know how good I give it to you and I haven't been able to give it to you that good. <laughs> so I'm like, man, she hasn't been able to have so you've her. you've had pressure? Yeah, you haven't you been pressure? In, yeah, you haven't been able to get that, that fucking that Michelin star, dick. that Michelin star cheesecake. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I don't want my, my <laughs> I don't want my chip. You don't my like fucking, cheesecake? I love it, but I don't want my sex involving any type of oh, cheese. Yeah, fine. <laughs> You could pick something more like like delectable. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I do feel a little bit of pressure. Not in like your needs are met or not in my needs are met, but just like uh, I think a healthy sex life is part of a healthy relationship. So I do feel a little bit of pressure there. Do you get what I'm but saying? But what if we're both not into it in the time being? I don't think it's a bad thing. I don't think it's a bad thing, but I it also just feels like it's <clears throat> part of it. So you yeah. see yourself, you see that we should be fucking until we're like 100? Yeah. Wow. It doesn't have to be fucking. Or it could just, just be just like. Sensualizing? It, it could just be like hot dogs rolling on a, on a thing at 7-Eleven, <laughs> you know? You know when you go there, you look at it, it just roll it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, what part of, what what part are we on the hot dog? What, I just what put are my we? hot dog in there and then we're just, you know, just hugging and rolling. But what if, but that's assuming you can even get your hot dog Oh, that thing will be fine for now. I don't know. <laughs> you came in strong and ended pretty weak. Yeah, like I feel like, you know, it, like sex doesn't have to be fucking trying to do an applause with our genitals, but it could be just putting it in there, just holding, hugging each other, being intimate, you know, counting the reps. Like seven, eight, two, five, seven, <laughs> That's seven, before eight. the sex happens. Yeah, but, like, you know, count, getting the reps in, I feel like that's good. And I think that's part of it, you know? Yeah, I think we'll be fucking till we're hopefully till or love making until we're like 80 or 90 or 100. That yeah. would be pretty cool. Yeah, I think we just, or maybe we just need to, um, I feel like we're getting there for sure. I mean, who knows? We like building so many things. Because I was about to say, um, maybe when our life kind of slows down a little bit more, like it's definitely slowed down. Not enough, like 
where I would want it to be. And again, and I say that because I'm like, we both like building so many things and we enjoy projects and we, we, we have so many ideas that we're always trying to like execute and stuff. I don't know if it'll ever really slow down, but if we ever get more efficient with our time, it might, that might change. I don't think we'll slow down, but I think in terms of obligation, those will decrease. Mm. Like I think right now, a lot of the work, you know, for most people, the work is tied to finances, is tied to providing for the family, right? And then I think once you get uh, very financially comfortable, you could start working for the sake of like passion or whatever, right? Yeah. Like after we retire and we're old, I actually can't wait to make a bunch of content when we're old. Oh, I thought you were going to say to fuck a lot. That too. <laughs> but but to fuck a lot so but that I want to fuck when my body still looks hot. Let's do that. We'll fuck tonight. But I I would love to be able to do. Bet we won't. What? Bet we won't. Oh, that's true. I'm fucking leaving. I'm going to L.A. <laughs> but um, no. But like I would love to do like a prank show as a like a geezer couple. Oh my god! Like that, this never forget that idea. Like, yeah, we we're sitting there. Like, I at would the, love at that the park shit. bench. Like where then, the fuck are my teeth? fucking part or like they the all camera. have like gums yeah yeah but the <laughs> camera is like far away and then like you know we're just there we're all like this sweet um sweet old couple at the park <clears> and then whoever sits down next to us we fart we're no we're like you know we still fuck <laughs> just to get their reaction <laughs> <laughs> or, if, or are we or, invite them to our fuck fest we're like hey we oh, have an orgy yeah, yeah, tonight yeah. you want to you yeah. want to come over? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be fun. I would love <laughs> to like just say inappropriate things. That's because, you know, old people, they just look so sweet. I know. Their ears are so shit. huge. And they're just so cute. But then you're we got to like, remove our tattoos then. Oh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. So we can yeah, really yeah. look at it. Yeah. And then we just oh, sit man. at the park. And we can be like, <clears throat> can you see her over there? Can you pass a sweet message? <gasps> and like, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, tell her I want to bend her over and do dog stuff. Yeah, yeah. Fucking eat her ass out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit Damn, imagine i go down on you and i just see all these like sunspots on your pussy well there w i wouldn't have any sunspots on my pussy why because don't you have to get them because that you've been exposed to the sun i thought when you get all you, you mean just liver get spots. spots or liver spots you get all these liver spots on your pussy Damn. You i don't think know if old you get people it on your pussy, pussy is smooth or not you think I, that looks old or does it look scaly like old people's You know, skin? my pussy has been changing. It has? Yeah. Like what? Um. So, you know, my my vulva, my lips. Yeah. Is it the same thing? Yeah, no, right? your labia. No. Labia. What the fuck? Damn, you don't know shit. I, I'm sorry. I'm tired. Dumb. This is why I'm drinking Alani New, the best energy drink out there. It's our homie's uh, brand. Shout out to them. Um, <clears throat> what was I saying? Oh. That your pussy's it? different? Yeah, the lips. Yeah. So, they used to be tighter and they used to be more like like... Like that? Yeah. And now they're a little bit like that. But they're a little bit looser. Is there a mouth breather now? <laughs> <laughs> and you know what's crazy? Like your body, the entire, your entire fucking being, every morsel of your fucking body is asymmetrical yeah so one of my lips is nicely tucked and the other one comes comes down just a little bit damn that's wild like bell's palsy <laughs> <laughs> or just have one little some best <laughs> you can only smile on one side yeah damn that's crazy mm -hmm. yeah. is there anything that's aged that's affecting my balls and my dick I just been having dry dick. Yeah, what is that? That's weird. Let me look that up. Keep talking. So I should have looked it up the first yeah, time. Yeah, so you one told thing that's it. been different. It's I've been having like a crazy itchy, not even on my balls. It's your shaft. But like at the base of the shaft where it connects to the balls, it's been really, really itchy. And at first I thought it was um I mean this could be actually accurate diagnosis, but you guys remember when I had eczema because I was swimming so much and I wasn't rinsing enough. So I thought maybe uh, it was from the pool because I do a lot of pool workouts and it was just, you know, the eczema being <clears throat> activated there. But then I'm like, wait a second, my hands and my feet don't have any of the eczema and it doesn't have any of the itchiness. But why is the shaft like hella dry? So every night now I've been putting this ointment on because I've been, I scratched it so much. You know how your ball skin is kind of like your elbow skin? I scratched it so much that um, it's like scabby that it's about to rip and it like hurts and it bleeds a little bit. So I've been trying to moisturize it to hopefully make it heal, but I don't really know what it is. And it's only on the left side. 
Okay. Oh, interesting. <clears throat> so I just did a quick little search and then this came up. What causes dry skin on the penis? So there's seven things that are listed. Yeah. Um, these are some of the symptoms before I could list them out. So it says, if you have dry skin on your penis, you may experience any of the following symptoms. Tell me if any of these are true. Okay. Tight skin, particularly particularly after bathing or swimming. I don't know. I don't pay attention until itching. it itches. Oh, I see. Itches, itching, flaking, itches. or peeling skin. No, not really flaking or peeling. Just itches. Redness of skin, a rash on the skin, fine lines or cracks on the skin, yeah, deep cracks. cracks on the skin that may bleed. Yeah. Seven causes. Number one, drying soaps. Which you do have a soap that dries. It's really strong, but I mean, I've been using that for years. A very harsh soap. I mean, yeah, but your body changes. This is soap I got on boot camp. Dial, I love it. Yeah, your your body changes. Um, so it says uh, a very harsh soap or cleanser may dry out the skin on the penis. Consider washing your penis using only water. What the fuck? Nah. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna exit. Yeah, your penis <laughs> smells That's like fucking shit. nasty. I'm gonna exit. You need fucking bleach on that thing. Fine. It says if you want to use a. <laughs> <laughs> what if you want to use a cleanser make sure you choose a very mild soap or even baby shampoo try that for a little bit baby shampoo that's weird no i mean you're not using a baby to wash your dick it's just <laughs> it's just shampoo that's gentle enough for a baby nah, skin you i don't want to use any bottle that says no tears <laughs> on it for my dick okay well just maybe you can when you pull back the skin it makes me feel you like a use, pussy well you can you can I mean, you scratching your fucking balls makes you look like I'd rather monkey. use dish detergent than to use a bottle that says no tears on my dick. All right, fine. Well, I'll just switch it out and you won't ever have to see it. So that's one. Okay, number two is allergies. If you have any allergic reaction to latex, uh, spermicide, personal deodorant, you don't have any of that. Fragrance. No. Nah. Maybe experience touch screen. Yeah, it doesn't apply to you. No. Nah. Um, number three, dry masturbation or nah. sex. Have haven't, you masturbated? No, nah, I haven't in a while. Damn, because you do like dry masturbation. I do. Yeah, but I guess not then, right? Because you've had it for months. Uh, these days, I've also been moving so much, I wouldn't even want to masturbate. I'll touch my hands. Ow. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Plastic so it's says, like this or something. Yeah, fine. It says a lack of lubrication. I mean, you can use my hand. A lack Fuck of yeah. lubrication. Yeah. No, I mean, <laughs> to jack you I know, I know. But I'm, just, oh. I'm, just, I'm just saying, like, look at this. It's not fun. I mean, maybe yeah, I know you, the cuts. you maybe that's what's causing my dry pussy, too, because every time you touch me, I hear it get stuck on all the fabric. I know. OK, number four, tight clothing or chafing. If tight clothes, if tight clothes are constantly worn around the genital area, they can chafe or rub against the skin and lead to dryness. Now, I've been wearing the same clothes. Fine. A yeast infection. Yeast infection. Yeah, it says a yeast infection can cause dryness and peeling of skin, a rash, white patches on the skin, swelling or irritation around the head of the penis. No, I no, don't it's at the base of it. <clears throat> okay, six, eczema. Many types of eczema can affect the skin on the penis, including atopic eczema and irritant contact eczema. <clears throat> it says if you have never been diagnosed with eczema, ask your doctor to refer you to a dermatologist for a definitive diagnosis the first time treatment of eczema is a low strength topical it doesn't matter but yeah you've had eczema before so it might be eczema that's what i that's what i'm what i'm thinking the diagnosis is but it's just weird that i don't have it on my hands on my feet either okay well, here's the last one <clears throat> psoriasis have you ever had that no but i mean i've seen p pictures of it, it looks crazy though it okay have a mild form what is it uh the most common type of psoriasis to affect the genitals including the penis is inverse psoriasis Initially, the apparent initially this appears as dry red lesions on the skin. No, no, nah, I don't got lesions. Oh, you may also notice small red patches on the glands or shaft of your penis. No red patches. No, I need to, maybe I need to shave my my pubes too because my pubes have been getting kind of long. So I've been putting ointment on. I don't even know if it's reaching the skin. It might just be it might just be like a bunch of like Vaseline on the pubes. What a tease! Your skin's like yes, water's come. <laughs> No! I know, it's just stuck there. Yeah, you should do that. That's it. That's all I got. Damn. Yeah, getting old is weird, huh? Prevention. You can help avoid dry skin on your penis by using a mild cleanser. Drying your penis properly after washing. Oh, maybe it's trapping moisture in there. I feel like it needs moisture. Oh, okay, then never mind. Um, Using products designed for sensitive skin on genital areas. Maybe you should get something gentle, dude. Using hypoallergenic uh, laundry products? No? I don't know. 
Yeah, wearing soft, loose fitting cotton. I got I got to just shave. My, I got to just shave my pubes and then, and then. There's um, a penis specific moisturizer. Yeah. Maybe you should get that. What's it called? Balserin? They didn't give me. I mean, it's not <laughs> balserin. No, I need to. Yeah, I need to just. I've been trying to moisturize and I've been trying to uh, be more, uh, be better about it. Yeah. Because sometimes I forget until it starts itching and then I start scratching and then when I scratch is when I realize, oh no, I'm irritating it again. Yeah, getting old is definitely weird. Um, I'm noticing you're getting a lot of white hairs. I'm noticing I'm getting more fine lines and shit. I'm not against Botox. I just never got it. Um, you don't need it. You look young. Thank you. I mean, it's also for preventative measures. I thought it gets worse if you got it. I thought once you get it, that. I've always heard like if you get it, well, because it's not stretching then it's out so your skin. tight, then all of a sudden when it relaxes, it's even it gets worse. I think you may have misinterpreted what they said. Because what happens is you're so used to seeing it tight that when it wears off, then you're like, whoa, it looks crazier, but it's mm. just the same thing. It's just it's just like your face with makeup versus not makeup, right? Like we always go like without makeup, we're like, damn, we look so fucking tired and so fucking dead. Yeah. But it's like because we're used to seeing our face with just a full coverage. Oh, I see. So I think that's what, because I, I don't see why you would get more wrinkles. Well, because if it's it's doing, stretched it's, it out, if it's stretched it out, and then it but it's not back. stretching it out more than what it's already been stretched. Then how come you, there's that Botox look that looks like? Because that's bad Botox. Like that, like it's like hard. So I'm thinking if it's it looked really like this, harsh, then maybe they just then later it goes. Back it didn't and go it's good. Like, then it's like this now. Yeah, no, it didn't go good. It's not good. Then how do you, how do you can how, how do you make? And sure I think you what get you're looking at amount? too is probably fillers. People get fillers. Oh, maybe that's and what those it is. look really. I mean, if done incorrectly, they can look really fucking bad. Yeah. Like there's that one show we were watching. I'm not gonna put anyone on blast. No, nah, fuck it. They're on fucking TV. But you know the um, Bling Empire. That guy that got cheek fillers. His yeah. shit looks wild. I don't even just, know he had cheek fillers until you I mean, put him out. His face looks. You said his face looks weird. <laughs> I, thought, I knew it looked weird, but I don't know why it looked weird. Yeah, because he got cheek fillers. Oh. Yeah. Isn't that crazy how, like, um, you can meet someone that you've never met before? And say something's off? Yeah, and it's like, I don't even know what your original form is, but whatever you have doesn't look like what yeah, it was original. It is. It does look odd. That's crazy, huh? Yeah. Well, I think it's just a really bad job because it's like, yeah, it's supposed to be subtle. It's supposed to yeah. enhance whatever you have or... Just make it look like it's supposed to be that way, but because on I don't the know. same token, isn't there like a meme that show like Ariana Grande got a nose job or something? She did. It's not a meme. It's real life. It's real life, but like I can't even tell. You know, like if I, I, th I think if I never, well, oh, well, she also, has a good job. Yeah, you know, and also since I, I, I never knew her until she was like a pop singer, I just never knew. Yeah, yeah. When you look back at the old ones, you're like, whoa, she doesn't even look like Ariana. Really, she had a little bump right here. Uh, it was a bigger nose. Oh, yeah, it was. Kind of longer, kind of like yours. I'm just kidding. What's wrong with my nose? <laughs> I'm just fucking around. Oh. Yeah. Um, it was just a different nose. But that's a good job, right? But if you look at Michael Jackson's nose, you're like, that's not a good job. Yeah, you don't even need to like, you could be someone brand new you're to like, the world. You're like, whoa. And you go, wow, buddy. that's different. That's, yeah. that's, that's something's going on over there. Yeah. I mean, I'm trying to remind myself because right now there's, you know, we live in a time where it's all about filters and it's all about like apps that you can like, airbrush and take away all your blemishes yeah. and shit so lots of vanity and surface level stuff well it's always been that way but now it's at an extreme level because we're doing it live yeah with like filters right like yeah. i just put up a story and i have a filter on it that makes my skin look perfect my eyes look a little bit bigger it like lightens your eyes a little bit more so you look more like um like um, innocent doughy yeah innocent and like my lips look a little bit bigger. So just these little minor tweaks yeah. that make you look like a fucking superstar. Yeah. You know, so so as I'm aging, I have to remind myself that, no, this is the process that you're supposed to go through, right? Like yeah. your skin changes, your body changes, like that's okay. And just kind of being graceful about it. Um, because like mentally, I really like where I'm at. You know, like even physically, like, of course, I would always want to stay, you know, how I looked when I was. No, I don't think I looked that good. I think I looked the best. <laughs> you look really good. Um, but, you know, just kind of reminding myself that, like, mentally, I'm fucking happy being at this age because I'm, like, financially super stable. Like, my life is really good. I, like, ha like I, I'm, I'm filtered out and I've gone through so many things that, like, I'm just wiser. 
Like I love where I'm at, you know, but physically because we're so into the vanity parts of of this time, just remembering that like that's not real life. Yeah. One of my favorite peoples is like beach peoples. You know, when you go to like Hawaii and stuff. And it's all just, it's pretty natural. And you just a little see bit a, of makeup. a whole family of natural people. It just looks like like they got even skin color. They're just like happy. They just, okay, we're moving looks, to Hawaii. Everyone's just glowing. You know, their hair looks like it went in the ocean three times and naturally dried. It's just it just looks so like healthy, normal, yeah, healthy and like Human. youthful and like and like. Yeah, it just looks great. I yeah. really I really like that look. Me too. Yeah, me too, for sure. So are we moving to Hawaii next year? Is that what's No, I w- I'll probably move to <laughs> Hawaii move <laughs> once Taika goes to college. Oh. Because then we don't need a big house anymore. What's the point of having such a big house? I think if we move to something that's like a two-bedroom, that's chill. Yeah. Yeah. I think right now we have a bigger space because one, like, why the fuck not? If we can, let's fucking live it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. YOLO. So when's Ty gonna go off to college? Still got like 18 years? Fuck, that's a long time. It's Can not 18 co- years, dude. He's three. Yeah, he goes, oh, no, no. So 15 years. Yeah. That's a long time. No, it's not. 10 a years dec- is not. A decade and that's a half. That's not a long time. Are you going to cry? Yeah, I want to go to Hawaii sooner. Then we travel. We can have a second house out there and we spend Damn, the summer. Bother. We could spend the summer out there. Yeah. Passive income, baby. Oh, shit. We could spend the summer out there because the here everyone's always like, the summers are so hot in Vegas, even though it's really fucking hot in LA too. Like this weekend, it was like in the 90s in LA. Anyway, in LA, yeah. Um, Without the breeze. Right. And it's fucking humid as shit. I'm not that humid, but it's more humid than here. Anyway, um, yeah, we can even have a house out there. And during these hot summers, we just fucking bounce. That's true. That's pretty fun. Spend a month or two out there. Why not? Yeah, that's true. That yeah. sounds fun. I mean, A, everything's, you just got to be flexible. Everything can happen. Yeah. You can make it happen. But I do enjoy being this age. I do love getting old with you. We do got to put our phones away. Once it's seven, that's it. We got to fuck more. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Any closing thoughts? I like our teamwork. I think it's pretty cool that we always troubleshoot things as a team. Yeah. I think that's what makes us work. Because I think like in our in our darkest times, it was a very like your fault, my fault type of thing. And I think that type of energy never makes a good team. You know, I think now it's always been like, what can we do? What can we do? And I think that mentality really brings us together because like when we have a problem, it's not that the problem is dividing us. It's still us on the same side versus that problem. Yeah. And even though your your pussy's a mouth breather, I'm still down to put it in there. Hey, even though your dick's scabbing over, I'm still down too. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Five sets of eight, baby. Five by eight. Don't forget it. We'll make it Don't happen. forget it. Five by eight. We'll make it happen. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys so much. We really appreciate you guys. Can't wait to get this fucking podcast. Not so boring. Um, another thing to look forward to, because every week I try to give you guys more shit to look forward to, is we're going to start bringing on some really cool fucking guests with this whole COVID being kind of under control a little bit more and we can hang out with people a little bit more. Expect to start seeing some really dope fucking inspirational guests that we're going to start having here. So thank you guys so much for watching and thank you to our sponsors. So thank you so much to Note Cube. For everyone listening right now, you guys are gonna get a special offer of 20% off when using code BELL, B-E-A-W. Also, you're gonna get free delivery worldwide. So make sure to shop online at thenotecube.com. And don't forget to check out barbellbrigade.com, your home of strength, where we want everyone in the whole world to get stronger because the strong survive. And not just strength, in the physicality but also in the mind and in the spirit but you build that in the gym strength in the gym is strength in life and we're here to support you from all aspects from apparel supplements our gym our digital programs and our content so make sure you go to barbellbrigade.com or just go on our youtube and watch all of our barbell brigade content to get inspired have fun and get after it and last but not least, thank you to our sponsor, Joombi. Go to joombishop.com and use the code Bell B E A W to get 10% off any 10, any daily serving pack, and get yummy, yummy matcha at affordable price. That's joombishop.com with the code Bell B E A W.